the hidden motive why they want to bring you down it has nothing to do with you not being good enough not talented enough it has nothing to do with you not being gifted it has nothing to do with you being inadequate you are not inadequate you are talented you are gifted you have what it takes they want to make you feel that you're not good enough it has nothing to do with that they realize that you are gifted you are talented you are amazing you have a lot to offer they realize that you are winning you are rising things are working out for you they realize that you're advancing you're an advancing man you're an advancing woman they realize that you're the chosen one you're moving forward you are a go-getter hmm? they feel intimidated by that they and the scarcity mindset they think that if you win they cannot win you will have taken victory and put a fence around it you own it it's yours nobody else can come in nobody else can have why are they trying to bring you down they are jealous they are envious they want to take your place what is flying by is it a bee hey stay away from me <laughs> when you're in nature expect that <laughs> click that like button smash that like button for the youtube algorithm give the video a thumbs up how about that they're jealous like i said they are envious how dare you move forward how dare you become more how dare you grow and many of them they started together with you they know you for so long hmm? they know your humble beginnings and they see you rising today they realize that things are working out for you it is not that you haven't been through stuff you have been through a lot hmm? but you're still there you have not given up you are still there putting in the work they feel so intimidated they hate the fact that you are happier than them that you are doing better than them but all along you're just grateful you experience pain you experience difficulty as a matter of fact they are trying to add to your pain and at times they do add to your pain because of all of the negativity they're throwing at you it's just that you do not stay there it's only temporary hmm? you are that type of person where even though they throw stones at you even though they attack you even though they're so negative you turn all of this negativity into positivity and in the end you win in the end it works in your favor in the short term in the short term you experience sadness you don't feel good but you do not stay there they end up inspiring you inadvertently that is the type of person you are but you go through amidst all of that you are doing well you are happy you are rising amidst all of that you're doing better than them you're putting in the work how dare you do better than them that is what they're thinking they are jealous 
they want to take your place. Envious. They want to take your place. They want to be you. They at you non-stop. Morning, noon, and night. They want to drag you down so that they can look good. They want to make you look bad so that they can look good. They're thinking. There she is with all of those buildings, figuratively speaking. There he is. Or there she is with all of these buildings. Let me destroy all these buildings so that it can appear that I have the biggest building in town. Let me destroy his buildings so that I will now have the biggest building in town. They are in a secret competition with you. They don't want to put in the work to have the biggest building. That is noble. That is a good thing. Nothing wrong with wanting to have the biggest building. Hmm, how about that? But how about doing it by providing value, by being good to others? by helping millions of people or a million people and then you will have your millions of dollars hmm? how about being good hmm? instead of that they want to destroy you so if they destroy you you will look bad and they will end up looking good because they're looking better they have one more dollar than you. We're speaking figuratively, but it can be literal as well. They have one more thing than you because you have nothing now. Nothing now. Hmm? How about allowing themselves to be inspired by you? To be inspired by you. How about allowing themselves to be inspired? How about learning from you instead of competing with you? How about creating? Creating. It's better to create than to compete. Hmm? You move forward by creating, not by competing. So they want to take your place, but they don't want to put in the work. Hmm? It's like, let's say, they're running a race with someone they want to win by default because they get rid of that person. Because they do something to that person. They break their legs, sorry to say, sorry to use that. And now they are the only ones with legs. So they have already won by default. Hmm? Why are they at you? Why are they trying to bring you down? Envy. Jealousy. Hmm? They are in a competition with you. They feel that if they bring you down, it will appear that they are up. They have a scarcity mindset. They don't understand that the universe is abundant. We live in an abundant universe. There is for everyone. It's abundant. Hmm? Infinite. You've not taken anything away from them. You haven't taken anything away from them. Hmm? There is for them. They think that by you winning, you will have taken something away from them. What did you take from them? You took nothing away from them. There is for them. Just because you're happy, they think that, oh, you're too happy. You're taking happiness away from them. That's crazy. And for some of you, just because you make some money, they want your money. They act like you've taken money away from them. There is money for, for them. There is a job for them. There is a business for them. There is for them. There is love for them. How about some love in their hearts? You're not the one keeping them back. You're not their enemy. They are their enemy. They are their worst enemy because if there is no enemy within, the enemy without can do you no harm. Most times people are their own worst enemy. That is why you, they're coming at you non-stop. You won't allow them to defeat you. 
you won't allow them to drag you down no they are trying but will they succeed no they are trying because you know that as long as you don't cooperate with them they cannot defeat you their spells cannot work against you their curses cannot work against you whatever it is it cannot work against you it only backfires it only reverses it can never work against you they're trying to pull you down why why are they trying to pull you down tell me <laughs> These insects, they're all about because we're in nature and they're part of nature. <laughs> hmm? They are like crabs. They have this crab mentality. That is why they're trying to pull you down. They have a crab mentality. Crabs in a bucket. Crab in a bucket mentality, that is. Hmm? If they can't have it, nobody else can have it. And they really can have it, but they're not trying to have it. So they're not putting in the work, they don't have the right mindset, so they won't have it. Because they won't have it, because they cannot have it. Nobody else must have it. As we hear in nature and the leaves are falling, I can see them falling before my eyes. If they can't have it, you cannot have it. Crabs in a bucket. If you put crabs in a bucket, any individual crab can come out of that bucket. But there are other crabs pulling it down pulling them down pulling the other crabs down mm? all of us are staying down there that is the mindset all of us are staying down there nobody will be allowed to get out of that all of us let's stay down there all of us let's remain in slavery mm? nobody's gonna get out it's it reminds me of slavery Hmm? Anytime somebody would decide, hey, we're going to burn down this plantation. Tonight, today is the last day we remain slaves. Let's burn down this plantation and that is the end of it. Hmm? We need our freedom. We are here to be free. There would be an informant. Somebody would tell the planter. Somebody would tell the quote-unquote master, the owner of the plantation, hey, they are planning a revolt tonight they are gonna have a revolt that person who would say that to the planter or to the master would be promoted manumitted I think the word is hmm? they would get that promotion they would be part of the they would become a house slave hmm? things would be better for them Meanwhile, everybody else stays in slavery. Everybody remains a slavery. A slave. <laughs> remains in, sl in slavery. Hmm? So let's stay down there. Because they get a so-called promotion, but they're not better off. They're still a slave. So they're still down there. It only appears that they're better off. Yes, they are not in the field, but they are still a slave. Hmm? So instead of holding your hand and saying, let's grow together, let's become more together, no way. They are busy fighting with you for the crumbs falling off the table. There they are fighting for crumbs, fighting for the crumbs falling off the table. Meanwhile, there's a feast on the table meanwhile there's so much on the table there's a feast hmm? how about being part of the feast on the table no way so they are at you but in no way are you inadequate they just want to drive they just want to bring you down they just want to take from you they want their friends to do well. They think that if they block the road before you, their friends will pass through and their friends will do well, the people they are working with. They think you're taking something away. They will do well. Hmm? 
they don't want you to do well they don't want you to rise but that doesn't stop you they can never bring you down the seed that you are they try to bury you but they forgot that you are a seed and when they buried you you said thank you and what happened you grew you became more hmm? that is the catalyst you needed I never heard a seed complain because of the dirt that was thrown on it so let them throw that dirt they're only helping you grow they are inspiring you you are experiencing contrast and now your goals are even more clearly defined now you know even more what you want and you're gonna have it it doesn't matter what they do or what they say you are gonna have it hmm? you've been praying about it you've been making affirmations about it you've had that faith that belief and now you have that no wing you know that it will be yours it will be yours they have no say in the matter why are they at you non-stop why are they trying to pull you down why are they trying to destroy you there's something they will never tell you they are really and truly your biggest fans these haters of yours these critics of yours they are following you they are studying you morning noon and night they know everything you do they want to be you they really admire you secretly they admire you <laughs> hmm? they are your biggest fans they are low-key supporters of you they are low-key obsessed with you that is hmm? obsessed with you because they realize how great you are they realize how amazing you are they see you rising they see you winning they are afraid of what you might become they see your potential you've won in the past they know that there are bigger victories that lie ahead for you they know that you are one of the go-getters that you are an advancing man or an advancing woman they know it they know that you are the chosen one they know that you're set apart that is the type of person you are you don't quit you are a go-getter they know it they are afraid of it they are intimidated by it and because of that they decided let us bring her down let us bring him down hmm? let us throw obstacles in your way they want to put things in your way they want to trip you they want to dig a pit for you they want to dig a ditch for you hoping that you will fall in it but they end up falling in it hmm? whoever digs a pit for you falls in it Hmm? don't they realize you don't want that for them they are the ones who are creating that world for themselves understand karma no debt in the universe goes unpaid understand the law of sowing and reaping what you sow is what you reap so they are the ones creating that for themselves not you hmm? why are they at you non-stop they want to take your place they want to be you so many reasons <laughs> But in the end, you win. They've already lost, you've already won. Everything is always working out for you. Everything can work out for them too, if they choose that. If they choose that path. If this is what they want. But it won't be at the expense of others. If they want bad for you, they are saying to the universe, I want bad for myself, that is what I like. And so they end up getting that in their life. As we hear in nature, we are here in nature once again hmm? how good it feels to be back here as I am sending you good vibes I am sending you all of these wonderful vibes from nature where the Sun is shining the breeze has been blowing a little it is not too strong these days I can tell you that the birds have been singing hmm, a little but I am yes they are responding <laughs> 
I am sending you all of this positive energy. I am sending you love. I am sending you light. Thank you for supporting the channel via Super Thanks. This YouTube feature called Super Thanks. Oh yes, thank you for supporting the channel via um, PayPal. You are loved. You are valued. You are appreciated. I like to say thank you, thank you, thank you for commenting, for liking, for sharing the video, for being part of this advancing community for subscribing for everything mm -hmm. and I didn't talk about my shirt bananas all of these bananas is because I am going bananas in a positive way <laughs> so happy <laughs> we're celebrating we're happy we're jumping we're waving that is what the song is about all about joy all about celebration all, all about love all about good vibes check it out it's my original song. Check it out. The link is in the description. And I'm going to pin a link to the song on YouTube in the comments. Check it out. Go and listen. A lot of you might be surprised because it is really up-tempo. It is not like the soft, calm stuff that you get here. <laughs> you know, there is a time and place for everything. There is a time to be calm and there is a time to celebrate. Let's have a party. Let's celebrate. Let's be in that place of joy. Knowing that everything is always working out for you. Go bananas in a positive way. <laughs> oh yes, like I said, you are valued and appreciated. My name is Manchus. This is the Advancing Channel. I am saying one love. God bless and all the best.